In this video, I want to discuss the ID command and how it can help you quickly find the XY coordinates of a point. Now, the book just briefly mentions the existence of the ID command, but when you do a couple of the exercises, you'll be asked to find the XY coordinates of a point. And I'll step you through the method that the book tells you to use, and then I'll show you the ID command, and you can see why that one is so much faster. So in the couple of exercises that you're going to do, you're going to have a polyline, and it's going to ask you for the XY coordinates of one of the endpoints. Let's say I wanted to know this vertex right here. And when I come over to my properties, I can see the current vertex is number one, and if I click on it, I can see the XY coordinates of that particular point. And if I look over here on the screen, I can see the point that has an X on it. So that's vertex one. So I can just simply hit the next arrow and it jumps to the next vertex and the next and the next and so on. So to get to that original point that I wanted to learn about, I have to keep hitting the next button until I get to that particular point. And now I can find out what its X, Y coordinates are. So again, you're gonna see a couple exercises where it tells you to do that. I'd recommend using the ID command instead. So I'll press escape there. The ID command is hidden underneath utilities. It's ID point. You can also just type in ID at your command line. And with this one, all you gotta do is use your object snaps, snap to a point and click on it. And right here in the command line, it's going to tell you the X, Y coordinates of that point. So I think you'll agree that's a lot faster than the method the book discusses. So give each a try, see which one you're most comfortable with. But I think this one you'll find to be a lot faster.